My name is Deanne Presley and I'm a soil management specialist for K-State Research and Extension and today I wanted to talk about describing soil profiles. A soil profile description is something that could be used by a variety of people for a variety of purposes. One such use might be a certified crop advisor who wanted to make a field specific recommendation or just to learn something more about a soil profile for any intended use. Some of the equipment that you might want to assemble to take to the field with you to do a soil profile description would include a soil profile description form and those can be found online or you can create your own. One of the sources for a soil profile description form that I use is the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. Um, clipboard for writing on, pencil, writing utensils, things like that. A soil knife is an essential tool for a profile description. What you're looking for in a good soil knife is something that's very heavy because um, that extra weight is very nice for being able to really get into the soil profile, especially on heavy textured soils, to get in there and pull a uh, nice pad out. So you're looking for something with some good heft and uh, usually it's good to have the tang where it extends all the way through the handle. Um, I like this one that's made by A.M. Leonard because it's got a plastic handle, but there's many others that have wood handles and those are acceptable too. Knives are available from many suppliers online, so the way I would suggest you go about finding a knife would be to Google soil knife and look for suppliers. But Ben Meadows, Gemplers, Forestry Supplies, A.M. Leonard all sell soil knives, either with the plastic or the wooden handle. They either are acceptable. I believe the going price is somewhere around $20, so they're not a, a tremendously expensive item, but they're, um, they're very nice to have. Some additional tools that you'll want to bring to the field would be a water bottle. I prefer a spray bottle type, and that's for using when we do soil texture by feel, which will be described uh, in another video, and the link to that video will be below the view screen on this video. Um, also, a Munsell soil color chart and the field book for describing and sampling soils. Munsell soil color charts are also available from many of the suppliers previously mentioned, um, such as Forestry Supplies, Bed Meadows, Gemplers. Um, and the field book for describing and sampling soils is put out by the USDA NRCS, that's the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and that needs to be purchased online. And I believe the, the price on that is somewhere around $20. Going back to the Munsell soil color chart for a moment, those are very expensive, approximately $120. So it's one of those investments that you'd have to make, but um, with proper care, the pages are waterproof and, you can, and washable. It could be used for a long time. So two additional tools that I would bring to the field would be a fabric tape that you could get at any store that sells hobby supplies or fabric supplies. Um, in, in the, mine has inches on one side and centimeters on the other, so that's just a personal preference. And then I use, like to use golf tees, um, which again, you can get those anywhere that sells uh, Walmart, Target, places that sell golfing supplies. And I use those to mark boundaries in the soil pit that I'm interested in. So when we're marking horizon depths, I like to use those because if I forget one, and it stays out here, eventually it would biodegrade. So rather than a nail, which could put a hole in someone's tire, this is not going to be quite as dangerous. So use those for marking the boundaries. Soil profile descriptions can be done either in a pit or with a soil probe or an auger or with a post hole digger. And they can be as simple or as complex as you need for whatever your given purpose. Uh, soil pit is not necessary, but it's certainly a nice way to really get the full picture see what the roots are doing, and really look at soil structure that can be hard to see from an auger. I do like to do my soil profile descriptions from top to bottom. To me that makes sense because it's how the roots are thinking. If you're thinking like a root, you're moving from top to bottom. But some people like to think the other way and go from the bottom to the top, um, thinking about the, the, the parent materials in the bottom part of the soil horizon working up to the top soil. But like I said, I go from the top soil down into the parent material because that to me seems to make logical sense. 